Any of y'all ever wonder what's in these things? Let's let the man tell us. Well, here we go. Make my best attempt. Okay. <laughs> so this is the line fuse, right, for the AC. Okay. These components here. Okay. This is your CX and CY filter capacitor. This is a common mode choke. And what these components do is they filter the AC. So if you had some noise on your AC, that noise would be filtered out before it gets rectified. Okay. This is the full wave bridge rectifier. And you probably notice if you look at the artwork here, once in a, one, at one time they had a heat sink on that. Oh, okay. Okay. You can see it's missing. Okay, so if you guys are burning up a lot of these rectifier you can diodes, them. you could probably add a heat sink to that and extend well, their well, life well, because well, it, was in the, ask you it was in the original design. Let me ask you this. So is this right here rectifying the mains voltage? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, then this is your bulk capacitance. Okay, these, these charge up to, these are probably rated 450. Yeah, I think so. See here. They're four something there right there. I can't see very well. 105, 105. Oh, these are these are 250. Okay, yeah. So they they have a switch here. Okay, so these these That's are 220. Yeah, these, two. these are not automatic. These are not all right. cents. So these are 250, and then they, they switch the voltage across these. Okay. okay. So these are the bulk filter capacitors, okay? And then what you have is this is the switch mode power supply control circuit, okay? And what that does is it controls the transistors that switch the primary side, Okay. Are these the transistors right here? I, these these are probably the transistors. These are probably the diodes. Right okay. So those are for high speed switching. Yes. All right. So you're switching the primary side of this transformer, probably around 100 kilohertz. You could fire this thing up. Just put your scope probe next to it, and you, you can measure. It. And you could see it'll couple right into your probe. But I'm going to guess it's probably about 100 kilohertz. So these transistors are controlled by this switch mode power supply control circuit. Okay. okay, and we switch the primary, okay, and then we have the secondary, which these are the rectifiers for the secondary. How do I know that? Because they're going to be very close to the filter. Rectifiers or, or no, no, transistors? No, no, these are rectifier diodes. These, these are rectifier diodes. They, they, take, they take the switching, the output. Here's my primary, and here's my secondary, right? Okay. And what you have is on the output what looks very much like a square wave on the output, okay? And this has to be rectified first, okay? And then it's filtered. Okay. Okay, so you probably have some kind of pie filter arrangement. You have a large choke and two capacitors, right, in the shape of a pie. That's why they call it. All right, so those are actually... Okay, rectifying so these are the rectifier dials rectifying the the output on the secondary side of the transformer so these are those or these are transistors these right are transistors oh, okay these are they dials. both look identical yeah they almost. look identical if you look up the part numbers you'll see the difference okay okay so so this rectifies the output of the secondary which is pulsating dc and this filters it so you have continuous DC. Yeah, I could tell that was the filters by the right. low voltage on them. And then that's the output. And you didn't cover this. Not really sure. Um, it looks like a capacitor. Some type of, it is a capacitor. It's a plastic film capacitor. I'd really have to look at the schematic to see. I got you. And then in here, in here is the regulation loop. Okay, so the it's... Regulation loop. Yeah, how this regulates, it switches the primary. When you put more load on it, the conduction time of these transistors increase. So let me let me try to draw something here. Okay. This this could be the output to that circuit, okay? It's just a, a square wave driving these transistors. And when you put a load on this, it increases the conduction time of these transistors. So it's actually pulse width modulated. Let me guess the faster be, they do the more amperage yeah, yeah. So this could be minimum load. 
This could be the average load, and this could be the max load. And what you'll see is when you really start loading this, okay, this control circuit will increase the conduction time of the transistors, which means you have more current through the primary, which gives you more current out the secondary, simply by controlling the pulse width. That's why they call this PWM, pulse width modulation. That's what this so This does. thing almost seems like it's literally creating amperage in a sense. It's using, switching. Very high frequency switching. That's where the efficiency comes from. And it's turning it into amperage. Right. That is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And you have to be careful if you're going to probe around this with your oscilloscope. Uh -huh. you got to have it on an isolation transformer. Because the ground on the primary side is not circuit ground. It has okay. its own ground reference. I've so even be, noticed be some of very the, careful with that. I've I'm noticed sure some of your uh, buddies had some, if they uh, were trying to probe uh, around in there. <laughs> I've noticed uh, some of the older computer type switching power supplies if you took them out of the case, they would not work. And I noticed that the actual ground bolts of them had to be grounded. Mm -hmm. To their, you know, the same thing with some of the power supplies themselves. You know, because one time I want, I had the idea of taking a uh, computer, literally out of a case and mounting different pieces of it on the back side of my desk when I was like eighteen or maybe even younger. And I was kind of wanting to make a hidden computer in a sense, you know, and just have a monitor and a disk drive and wires and all that. And I remember it took me almost four hours to figure out why I couldn't get it to turn on until I finally figured out that the case of the actual... But see, these aren't that way. Yeah. These aren't that way. Yeah, I can take this out of this case and still it still sure, works. Sure, you got a good ground plane on the, on the PC board. Some okay. heavy ground traces. They were probably using the casing. So this cheaper. is pretty much the modern... This is it. Best way of doing it. State, and that's, of, state that's, of the art. And that's speed. how they're able to do it so, so cheap. Yep. And you're looking at very, very high efficiency, which means less power loss and less heat generation. That's the whole advantage. Can you explain that a little more, the choke? Yeah, this well, it's a pie filter. Okay. So... You could probably turn it off. This is going to get really hairy. Um, you know, a he choke. said it's going to get hairy, so we're going to turn it off now. That's Mr. RF Man giving a quick explanation of switch mode power supplies. We'll see you.